guys, what's up? Welcome back. I hope that you have a snack. I hope that you have a cup of tea. Um, this is gonna be a long one. I have another collective haul for you guys. Let's just dive on in. So I've got some brands that I haven't ordered from before. So some cool new stuff to show you. And I'm gonna start with one of those brands. So I never haul mod cloth, like ever. And I don't know why. I think, well, mostly when I go to their side, I always find stuff that's maybe a little too eclectic and a little too vintage inspired for me. And I like to bring vintage things forward, but also have like a modern twist to it. Um, but I did go on their site about a week and a half ago and saw these two items and I was like, yes, yes, yes. When you see them, you'll know exactly why I gravitated toward them. So the first one is jumpsuit. Now, as soon as you see this print, you're gonna get, like, you're gonna be like, yeah, of course you bought that crystal because, of course you bought that crystal, um, amazing. So it is a jumpsuit, it is a wide leg jumpsuit. Look at this print, you guys, like, is this not me in a print? Like, these palm, fan leafy style, like, gorgeous, it's white, it's green. Um, what I really love about this is that, first of all, this brand, um, I should tell you guys about, because it's not the Mod Cloth brand, it's a brand called Collective. I don't know anything about them other than I believe that they are um, European. And so this is a small capsule that they're doing with Mod Cloth. So I'm assuming like limited sizing, limited availability. So if you like the um, two items I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna link them obviously down below. So pick them up as soon as you can. What I really loved about this other than the print, which is obviously completely way up my alley being part of my suns out, buns out, tropical vibes that I'm obsessed with, um, is that it, the fit is so great. So if you're pear shaped like me, which means you're smaller on top and bigger on the bottom and you got like a beagle BLT, but legs tummy like I do, um, you know that finding a jumpsuit is probably one of the most frustrating and hardest things to shop for. Jumpsuit stress is anything one piece because there's such a huge size variance. You tend to find things that don't fit like one or the other and this stuff, is cut so generously in the bottom half. So if you aren't pear shaped, you're still going to get this really beautiful floaty effect with some good waist definition. And if you are pear shaped, you're going to have the space that you need to feel comfortable. Um, fabric is super lightweight, really love that. Comes with a tie belt, which I have right here. There we go. So you just tie this around your waist. You obviously don't have to wear it. You can wear whatever belt you like with it. You can wear no belt with it. I do like the little bit of waist definition that it gets, but the fit is great, the fabric is nice and light and breathable, and the palazzo pants, look at the size, I can't even, probably can't even put this in frame, look at the size of the opening of these pants. Like, it just screams, like, luxury, leisure, vacation, Palm Springs, like, super, super fantastic. I'm going to be wearing the actual hell out of this this summer, I'm so excited. So, we are starting the haul off with a bang, you guys. Sidebar, I look like a Victoria's Secret employee with my black shirt and my, my pink my pink nails. I'm like, hi, can I fit you incorrectly for a bra today and sell you something that's overpriced? Okay, okay. Anyway, the next item I have from that same collective and mod cloth collaboration is this romper. You guys, oh my god. So again, gorgeous thin fabric, amazing fit. Look at this cute print. Like, this is so cute. Like, I'm about to book myself a trip to Oahu immediately just to wear this on the beach. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, again, great fit on top, and look how nice and floaty these shorts are. Tons of room if you're pear shape. Going to look really pretty and floaty on the body if you're not. Um, just a great, great piece. Solid piece, solid print. Comes with a fabric belt as well, which you can obviously take off and put on whatever belt you like, or no belt if that's your thing. Um, just, yeah, I'm, I was really so surprised. I've never heard of this brand before. I never ever shop Mod Cloth. Um, and now I definitely think that I'm going to, first of all, keep Collective on my radar, but start checking out Mod Cloth more often than not because, you know, apparently there have been treasures hiding that I just haven't been seeing. I'm gonna pop on over to Eloquy for a second and show you guys some stuff I picked up. I'm going to have a more comprehensive haul with them later this month, I think, because they have some really cute things and I feel like we just need to like do an Eloquy video. Um, but this first thing, it's gonna be really hard to show you, so I will try and portion crystal handle all of that. So girl, you go ahead and do you and show everybody the shirt. So this top, I love a reimagined white button down or white like shirt dress. Um, because we can all wear like a traditional shirt dress and that fabric is always really nice and stretchy and comfortable. But I love when someone, like a company or a brand or whatever, takes the concept of a simple white shirt and remasters it and they really did that with this one. Off the shoulder, exposed zipper in the back and then these really gorgeous long ties to add waist definition. I really, really, really like this. I got this in a size 16. I do find it runs 
a little small. Size 16 with Eloqui tends to run, uh, I tend to be more of a 14 than a 16 in their stuff. Um, but when I see like a shirt like this, I'm like, I'm gonna size up just in case. And I feel like it was probably good. So if you're in between sizes, I would definitely um, size up on this guy right here. But just a really cool, fresh, Shirt for the summer, and again, I love the reimagined shirt, so well done. One of my favorite colors to wear that I don't wear very often because there's not a lot of it available is a nice, rich forest green. So when I saw this neck shirt from Eloquy, I was like, yes, 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 yes. Um, so this, it's got a really cool neckline. So it's got a kind of twist around the neck, halter style kind of neckline and then an off the shoulder little ruffle. Look how rich and luxe this color looks. I don't know why we don't see more items made in this particular shade of green because it always looks so rich and so just yummy. It's just so yummy. So really pretty. For my babes that um, work in an office, this is great to wear to work if you work in an environment where it's okay to show your shoulders. Uh, if not, this is gonna be really pretty under a blazer because this neckline is just really, really lovely. Um, and otherwise, just a really great shirt to wear with jeans. Uh, on the website, they had style it with a skinny belt, and I thought that was really cute if you wanted a little more waist definition. Yeah, just a great little solid piece. I feel like I need tops, and this was a good one. The next two Eloqui items I have are dresses. This one, listen, I am living my best picnic table life in this dress, and I, you can't tell me nothing. It's so cute. Ugh. Okay, first of all, all I need in my life is a good bustier top. Like, I don't know why that's such a big thing for me, but I love a bustier top. This is just so cute. I love that it's gingham, but it's like an olive green gingham, so it's not super obvious. Um, and it's a fit and flare. It's very long, it's a midi. So I think I'm gonna get this taken up a little bit. We have really cute straps that are not adjustable, but fit really nice. Smocking in the back, so if you're a little bigger in the back, then you are good to go. This is a size 16 and comes with a little waist tie. Just a nice little dress if you have a summer wedding, if you're having brunch, if you're meeting, you know, your, your person's parents for the first time, if you have a baby shower to go to, everybody's pregnant. Is everyone in your life pregnant? Everyone in my life is pregnant. It's crazy, so I'm like, okay, well, if I get invited to baby showers and crap, I'm gonna need something cute to wear, and this is gonna be something cute to wear. So I really like this, I think it's adorable. It's just a little long for me, but hemming is the easiest alteration in the world, so I'm just gonna have it hemmed. I can probably even do it myself. And then I'm going to go off into the sunset and live my best picnic table life and have a beach picnic by myself. It's gonna be good. The last item I have from Eloqui um, fits a little bigger than I had anticipated, but also it doesn't matter because Amanda was in was over when I was trying it on the first time, and she was like, that is mine, and don't get too attached because I'm coming to steal it from you. So um, it is a kimono wrap dress. I love this print. I love the trim on it. We have black trim there and blush trim down the front. It is a true wrap, so it does have long straps, which are somewhere, here we go, long straps, and then there's a little hole that you kind of poke it through and then tie it around your waist. I love how easy these dresses are. I love that when you put them on, you don't have to like worry about anything. Like, it just fits, it just does what it does. What it does. If it's a little big, it's actually not bad because you can put a bralette underneath, and that way you're like more covered. But otherwise, wrap dresses are just the easiest thing to throw on. They always look chic, they always look put together. And fun prints like this really add like nice little elements and different cool twists and stuff. So I know our tendency, especially for work and stuff, is to go with like a black wrap dress or kind of a basic color. But I think if you're trying to add a little more oomph to your wardrobe, Definitely look for fun prints in styles that you're comfortable with, and that way you're going to get the familiarity of what you're used to wearing, and that comfort while still kind of breaking out and doing something a little different aesthetically. So I did really like this. Unfortunately, Amanda is probably on her way up here now to seal it. So goodbye, beautiful dress. Oh, Target. Oh, Target. Oh, Target. Oh, Target. I spend so much money at Target. Uh, and they have a bunch of new clothes, so I got some, and I'm sad to say that I think it's all going back, which <sighs> kind of breaks my heart, but let, let me show you guys what I picked up. So the first thing I picked up is this um, little stripey top. So cute, love the color, so great for the summer. The fit is just off on this. I felt like it was tight in the bust and it's sewn shut. So I'd have to like cut it to open it. So like give, like if I wanted to wear a bralette or something, like that option's not there for me because it's not a snap, it's like actually sewn. 
It's such a cute little top though, but the fit is not there for me. Um, so this is by their new, oh, this is by A New Day. Um, yeah, yeah, you'll see in the try-on portion. It is really cute though, and I think if you're a column body type and you wanna add definition to your waist, the drawstring on this is going to give you that. And I can even see it in the viewfinder how pretty and poppy and like hot summer nights the colors are. It's such a great little shirt, but unfortunately just doesn't fit me very well. The next top I'm kind of on the fence with um, in regards to do I return it or not because I like it, but then I think it's matronly, but then I'm like, is it matronly or is it fine? I don't know, you guys, I just don't know. So let me show you. So this next one is from Universal Thread and it is a kind of oversized flowy tank top. Why I picked this up and what I thought was really awesome about it is that on either side, there's actually buttons down the side. And I thought this actually was the front of the shirt when I first picked it up, but it's not. Um, and really what makes this genius from a design standpoint is that these buttons are obviously functional. And when you're built the way I am where it's you're all this, you know that like getting a shirt to like go over your hips and skim over your hips is like damn near impossible. So having these be adjustable allows me to retain the integrity of the design of the shirt, which is meant to be a trapeze, while still giving me the space I have so it doesn't bunch and sit funny on my body. Um, there's just something about it though that I'm like not super thrilled with, I guess. Might be that the stitching is already coming apart and all that. You see that? There's loose, there's loose stitching. And that's not so great. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Should I keep it? Should I not? I, I would love to know your opinion because honestly, I'm pretty torn. The last thing I got at Target, um, is this dress. And I didn't really notice until I was filming the try-on portion how just like meh it was. Um, I really wanted it to be great and it just wasn't. So another piece by Universal Thread. Um, really nice classic like olive green tank dress. I love these dual strappy bits. I think that's really cute. Nice def defined waist with an elastic which is nice. Great pockets, nice length, floats away from the body. I think it's just not for my body type. I've noticed that a lot with Target. As much as I really like the clothes and the aesthetic and what they're trying to accomplish, they never really fit for my body. And so as a result, things either gape in the bust or too, too, like not wide enough or don't have the proper design elements to allow me to adjust for my, you know, my body. Um, dresses are just cut like straight up and down. Um, and so as a result, it just leaves me feeling very frustrated. The jeans never fit me. I probably have to size up like three to four sizes to even like get them on, which is ridiculous. Um, there, it just doesn't seem to work for me. So that's kind of my story with Target. I think I might take all this stuff back. I'm not, I'm not super thrilled. So next I have a couple things from ASOS. Um, one amazing thing, but I'm gonna leave that for last. Um, this I'm going to start with because I must have read the description wrong. This is not at all what I wanted or thought it was. Um, I thought this was a shirt, but it's actually more of like a layering piece. So it's a black kind of lacy sheer layering piece. And I, I don't know, I must not have read it correctly because I thought that it was like sewn shut. But it's really just like a layering piece. Like, like I'm talking like circa 2001. Like we used to call these bed jackets. Like that's what they were. They used to be called because they had like a lingerie kind of vibe to them with the lace detailing and the sheer and the chiffon and all that stuff. Um, so basically, I bought a bed jacket, which I don't know, dude. Like I remember wearing these the first time they came around, and I'm just I don't know. That just kind of makes me feel old and boring. So um, it's pretty. I just don't know if I'm gonna wear it because. I, I don't know, it just kind of feels dated to me, but um, I thought it was a shirt. So, you know, there's me being a dingbat and buying that. Um, the other thing I got that I'm kind of iffy on is this striped wrap dress. Um, it's cut definitely not for pear-shaped bodies, so I think I got a size 16 or 18. I got a size 18 in it, and it fits, but when I sit down, the split is like, <laughs> well, welcome. Uh, it's just not not a vibe I'm trying to that's not how I'm trying to live my life that's not a vibe I'm trying to put out um, so I, I would keep it maybe for the beach just to throw on over a swimsuit or something um, the straps are a little hard to adjust like the fabric is thick so these little adjusty bits here kind of I don't know they're really hard to like move up and down and stuff um, but I really do like the print it's very 4th of July so if I go to like a 4th of July pool party or something I think I throw this on over my swimsuit that would be fine but to wear in like my day-to-day -day life not something personally that I would wear. Now, if you are less hippie than me, if you're kind of more of a column, like straight up and down, or even an apple shape, um, 
I think you might do better than I did with this, but it's just a smidge, smidge ill-fitting on me. But this last piece, oh my god, you guys, this last piece, I am dying. So VidCon is next week, and they have a couple of parties to go to, and I wanted something fancy and something extra. And I believe I have hit the pinnacle of extra, you guys. And you know what's really funny is that one of you guys had DM'd me on Instagram and was like, girl, you need to check out like this stuff because it is so up your alley. You guys know me and you know my heart and I so appreciate that. What? Oh my God, oh my God. Look at this bodysuit, you guys. Like, excuse me, excuse me, can I be Fat Christina Aguilera from Burlesque? Like, yes. Yes, ma'am, show me how you burlesque. I shall in this. This is freaking gorgeous. The arm detail, like, look at this. And this was a hundred bucks, you guys. Now I know some of you guys be like, oh my God, a hundred dollars, that's so expensive. Okay, but hear me out. This is a beaded bodysuit. Like to get this for a hundred bucks is actually an incredible steal. Like look at the amount of detail on this thing. Holy Jesus. Like I, I just, honest to God, I can't wait to wear it. So the only thing, the only issue I have with it is that it's kind of short, like from waist to tush. So there's not a lot of space, so these don't like stay shut on me. I feel like the snaps actually could have been done a lot better. And I feel like they got the price down and kind of skimped in some places, and I definitely feel like these snaps are where they skimmed. Um, so I might like sew it shut or something, or maybe even get an extender. I don't, I don't see, they just come across, like come apart too easily. So um, I have to figure that out, but like I will figure it out because this was like 80 something, 90 something dollars, and like it is just, Stunning to die for like I am going to I know no one uses Kira Kira anymore And let me tell you something I'm going to be Kira Kira myself all over Instagram the night I wear this because I, I Oh god, I can't wait. I just I cannot wait By the way, if you do get that it is very delicate Very delicate so handle it with care hang on to the packet of extra beads that it comes with you may have to do repairs That's just kind of the way things work with pieces like that But they are special they are beautiful if you're going to Vegas if you're going to a wedding If you're like me and you're going to a dinner party on Tuesday and you want to be extra Gorgeous 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 just know that it's a delicate item and you want to be really careful with it So the last items I have to show you are from Levi's they sent these over in PR um, and there were definitely some hiccups along the way. Um, there was something wrong with my order. They actually sent me a size double zero pair of shorts instead of a size 20, which is weird. Um, they did send me two other pieces that I'm not including that were a size 20 that were just about two sizes too small. So their fit seems to be all over the place. I'm not familiar with Levi's as far as their fit goes. I've never worn their stuff before. Um, I've always known of them, but and I think I have like a maybe a denim jacket or something, but I've never been a big Levi's person because first of all, they didn't really make plus and I wasn't super motivated to go find it. So I do have something to show you that I did like, but I do kind of want to point out that their sizing is all over the place. Now, before I, you know, just to kind of like counterbalance that, they are available at Macy's and they are available in store a lot of places. So I would really recommend that you go in and try them on or at the very least, if you're like me and you're like thicker in the butt in the butt and legs and stuff, um, maybe order a size up. I don't know, but I'm not really, I wasn't really super thrilled with the tops or with the bottoms, but I did get a couple of tops um, and I'm, I'm kind of stoked to show them to you because they are adorable. So this first one, um, is I believe this is not from the plus line. This is from their regular line and it is a size extra large But it is a little Dodgers chambray shirt. You guys know I'm such a sucker for anything Dodger related and Yeah, I really like this obviously I go to games. I'm a big Dodger fan. You guys know this and I don't want to hear it in the comments From you Cubs fans and you who else is a pain in the butt Cubs fans Mariner fan Padre fans Giants fan, all you shush I know what kind of year we're having and I don't want to hear it from you I'm already living in that life. I don't don't need to hear from you. I don't. I'm so ride or die Dodgers. Um, the cute little patch. I really like it. It's adorable. It's just a really fun little shirt to wear to games or to wear at home while I watch them, you know, lose. Um, so you know, I, I really like that. So we did get a couple of Dodgers things. Um, I'm gonna show you the other one because husband has already cleaned it, which I don't blame him. I got a men's extra large denim jacket. Um, has a Dodgers patch on the front, which is cute, and then on the back, there's the Dodgers embroidery. Can yeah, there it's in frame. The quality of this is insane. 
insane, you guys, insane. They don't just have Dodger stuff, by the way. They have other MLB teams, so definitely go on their site. Links will be down below. Check it out. I like this because I like, from a girl standpoint, I like the oversized kind of vibes that I get from it, and I like that like I can wear it kind of a little off the shouldery, you know, my arms are through it. I think there's a lot of like versatility in a men's denim jacket. They are very on trend anyway. And if I'm gonna wear a denim jacket, it's going to be a Dodgers denim jacket. So I will say the quality is one million percent there with Levi's. I just think for me, the fit is a little weird. Um, so moving on to the last shirt that I have, I just got a classic Canadian tuxedo style chambray shirt. This is in a size 2X from their plus collection. It fits just perfectly. So again, I'm normally a 1X, so I do feel like it runs small. There is zero stretch, by the way, in any of this stuff. But I do love a classic chambray shirt. They're so versatile. They go with skirts, they go with jeans, they go with black jeans, blue jeans, white jeans, ripped jeans, like clean jeans. I mean, they go with everything. You can tie them around your waist. They'll go over body cons. There's so much use that you can get out of a denim shirt. So this one in particular, really pretty snap closure with um, pearl detail buttons, really gorgeously made, really gorgeously made. Just watch on the sizing of these, you guys, because they do run a little small. And the last thing I have to show you is the one pair of jeans that fit me, again, in a size 20. The other 20s did not fit. I would have to size up in both of them. So we're gonna see about maybe exchanging them and then I might put them in a future video um, if the fit is a little better. These are cute, they are the um, button fly, which I have a love-hate relationship with, but these are actually really nice. Um, it's a medium to light wash, and there's some mild distressing on them, and then a kind of raw edge hem, which is really nice and stylish. And then the back is also really cute. You have your classic Levi's patch right there, um, and then you can obviously you rip the the little taggy thing off and all that stuff. So, so yeah, um, so these worked because they do have a little bit of give to them. There is a little bit of stretch to them, but like I said, no luck on the other one. So I will keep you guys posted on when I get returns and um, if they fit, I'll put them in another video so I can show you. So I would definitely say that the quality is there with them. The sizing, like I said, is a little crazy. So try them out in person if you can. I think you'll probably find a pair that will work for you. But for me, um, it's a size up issue for sure. I'm gonna have to size up, um, but they are really cute. And it's nice to have a pair of Levi's because Levi's is such an iconic American brand. Okay guys, so that is it for me and this collective haul featuring like how many different brands? One, two, like five, six different brands. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you and you saw something that you like. Let me know what your favorite thing was down in the comments down below and let me know what you're looking forward to wearing this summer. It is currently, I think June 15th. Summer officially starts on the 21st so it is coming very quickly and I cannot wait. The weather has been beautiful here in California. I have been loving every minute of it. Mostly I've been loving the fact that in Phoenix is 107 and here it's like the hottest it's been. It's like 79, 80. It's glorious. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. Hit subscribe on the way out. Turn on the notifications. Give me a like and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. So if you like this video and you're looking for more hauls to watch, here are two more that you can check out. They're good, and you know that you're avoiding cleaning your house and cleaning your apartment, you don't wanna do it. So just watch these videos and procrastinate, and this is so much more fun than cleaning anyway, so just, you just go ahead and click. I'll put these here for you to click, so go ahead and, and click on